Hi everybody, Motorcycle Mariner here with Masshole Engineering. Today we're going to go through the process of uh, balancing your throttle bodies on your fuel injected Ural motorcycle with OBD Wiz. We're going to use the OBD Link SX scan tool, which you should have purchased already, and the adapter cable, which you should have made already. If you haven't already, you should have uh, OBD Wiz set up on your laptop or PC. Uh, to do that, you should really follow the instructions that came with the OBD Link SX scan tool here. And the instructions are here in front of you. Uh, you should have them. Follow it through all the way to the end of step two to make sure you have your scan tool connected to your laptop properly and working. Once you have OBD Wiz set up on your laptop properly with your scan tool, you should go ahead and program in the uh, user-defined PIDs, which I have laid out in an earlier video with instructions, so you can monitor each throttle body uh, intake manifold pressure. Once you have your user-defined PIDs programmed in, we can go ahead and start plugging into the motorcycle here with OBD Wiz. You're going to want to go ahead and plug your adapter cable into your diagnostic port on your motorcycle. And now, you're going to want to plug your adapter cable into your scan tool. From there, you can plug your USB into your laptop. Now that we have everything plugged in, it's time to power up the ECUs and make sure we have everything set up properly and we can have communication with both of the ECUs. You're going to have to turn the ignition on to the on position, one click, and you're going to turn the ignition switch on. At this point, you'll hear the fuel pumps running and you have power to both ECUs. Now that you're plugged in and have the power on, you're ready to connect to the ECUs. You're going to want to come over here to Setup, click Connections, and hit Connect. At this point, it's going to start searching for the ECUs. It tries multiple protocols until it finds the proper one for the fuel-injected Ural motorcycle. Once it has found them, it brings up both ECUs if everything's working properly. At this point, you have to choose which ECU you want to read. It really doesn't matter which one you choose as long as you have your user-defined PIDs programmed in properly. For this, I'm going to use the top one. It's already chosen, and I'm going to hit Continue. It now gives me a Vehicle Editor option. I just hit Cancel. This is where you can add in all your vehicle information. And now you'll see in the bottom left here, the interface is green and the ECU are green. And that means you are connected and you're ready to go. From here, you can start surfing around OBD Wiz and check out all the options it has. You can use the diagnostics. You can also, in diagnostics, check out your PID values. These are the 19 PIDs that are red on each ECU. Each 19 are the same on each ECU. As you can see, my bike is shut off and cold right now from the engine coolant temperature, which is the cylinder head temperature. It's reading 5 degrees Celsius. You can change from metric to English or imperial readings up here in setup. I'm going to do that now because mostly Americans are probably watching this video. Under setup, you're going to want to go over to general. You can go down to edit preferences and choose English and OK. That's going to change you from Celsius to Fahrenheit and KPA to PSI. At this point you can either choose to surf around OBD Wiz a little further and see what else it can do or you can get ready to balance your throttle bodies. If you're going to keep surfing OBD Wiz without the motorcycle running you're going to have to hook a battery charger up to your battery because the fuel pump continues to run the whole time and you will drain the battery down. But for now, we're going to start up the bike and move on to balancing your throttle bodies. Now we're going to go down to the dashboard icon on the left, click on that, find the custom dashboard that I showed you how to make in the other video with the user-defined PIDs. And you're going to see the RPM, the left intake, the right intake, which we did earlier. And now I've added a couple others, the left and right cylinder head temperature and the left and right intake air temperature. I've been working on these, trying to get the formulas right and the parameters right, so I didn't want to pass the information on until I had it all correct, but it does seem to be working now. You can
can see my temperatures are really cold because the bike hasn't been running it's been sitting so i'm going to go ahead get the bike running warm it up and then we'll go ahead and start trying to balance the throttle bodies so now you can see in the cylinder head temperatures i've had my bike running and they're uh, well over 200 degrees fahrenheit so they max the gauges out so i'm probably going to switch over to metric so it's in celsius and it'll be down in the 115 range and it won't pin the gauge out also using psi to balance the throttle bodies the increments aren't really small enough so you're running down in like the five and six psi so it barely registers so we're also going to go back to the metric with that which is kpa which is a much wider scale and you'll get a better reading so you'll have to go back to uh setup edit preferences metric okay and go back to your dashboard now that you're back to your dashboard you can see the temperatures are reading much better and we'll get the bike going again and check the throttle bodies at idle so now my bike's running you can see the idles a little high and the left intake is also a little higher than the right intake so I'm gonna go and adjust the idle screws try to bring the idle down and also get the throttle bodies sync in order to adjust your throttle bodies at idle uh, there's idle screws underneath each throttle body which you can see right here and those will be your adjustment and there's one on each throttle body so now my throttle bodies are balanced and the rpms down it's hovering around uh 10 30 10 40 on the rpms and we've got about 34 kpa even on the throttle bodies and everything's balanced so now we're going to rev it up around above 1800 to check the uh high idle and uh see if the throttle bodies stay in sync And everything seemed to be all right, and uh, everything's in sync now. The bike's off, so it's dropped out the ECUs. If your throttle bodies aren't synced above 1,800 RPMs, you're going to have to adjust the throttle cable. There's one throttle cable on each throttle body, and this is the adjustment here. So again, above 1,800 RPMs, if your throttle bodies aren't in sync, these are your adjustments, not the idle screw underneath. Thank you for watching my video. I hope everything here was pretty clear and assists you in balancing the throttle bodies with OBD Wiz. And again, uh, go Red Sox. Yankees suck.